Good day. Bonjour tout le monde. Great to have you guys here joining me today again on the Tatro Show. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, Portfolio Manager here at Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management uh, and at the Tatro Wealth Advisor Group. All right, remember, this isn't investment advice. Do not take this as investment advice. Uh, we're chatting about investments today. All right, no, uh, I won't wait any longer. I'm going to bring him in right now. Uh, our guest today for the show, for the Tatro Show, uh, Vincenzo Guzzo. You guys know him from the Dragon's Den, CEO of cinemasguzzo.com. Uh, He's an entrepreneur. He's an investor. He's a great personality. He is recipient of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. He is knighted by the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. Uh, he's also a member of... Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, the Order of Malta as well. Welcome to the show, Vincenzo. Thank, Thank you. you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, all right. So uh, what do you think? Uh, did you follow the headlines a little bit in the stock market? What do you think of the current market situation? Look, I think it's a correction that, you know, it's uh, panic sets in. There's a bit of a correction back and forth. I think, uh, you know, I mean, I look at my industry in the oil sector. So the oil sector for me was a big buy. I mean, you know, with the drop in... Uh, in price of crude and everything, it, it made sense for me to buy. And that's what I did. I, I bought massively in the oil sector, Canadian oil sector, by the way. Um, and, and so it's paid off within a few weeks already. Uh, the movie business, I think, until movie theaters and, and the studios are back in business, th those stocks will will suffer a bit. I think they'll be in distress. Uh, um, you know, uh, even, even a good rumor hasn't helped AMC to move up. So... Uh, you know, but but everything's going to correct itself. I think we'll come back to uh, to I guess a uh, a very uh, strong bull market shortly. When do you think uh, you're going to open your doors for your first theaters? When is that coming? So the discussion right now that's being had across the board with the various uh, premiers and 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 their you know the various uh, health authorities is basically the 26th of June. Uh, which is three weeks or so before the opening of Warner Brothers uh, Chris Nolan movie Tenet, which should be a huge movie for us. So it'll give us three weeks to get ready uh, to make sure that, um, you know, we can handle the crowds. Okay. Now, headlines today, just want to take you through some of the headlines. Stephen Pelos said that there's a significant amount of stimulus needed to rebuild the economy. I'm taking that live from the Bloomberg, BNN Bloomberg front page. Uh, also, Vermillion, the CEO, steps down today with no reason giving the stock fell about 2%. Is that one of the names you bought, Vermillion, Vermillion Energy? No. No? no. You stayed away from that one? No. Yeah. Okay. I bought so that Shock, Shocko and uh, uh, Ovnitel. Okay. Uh, another headline that made, uh, in, in Winnipeg anyways, Boeing cut 400 jobs in, Win in Winnipeg among the COVID fallout. Uh, there's been, I'd say, uh, a, a lot of positive movement lately in the market here with respect to what is, what is I'm sure, I'm, I would imagine you the same, is the opening of the economy, right? People are convinced that the economies are opening, it's happening, and the vaccine, I would imagine, right, is driving this market lately, you think? No, I, th I think, look, I don't know about the vaccine, but I can tell you that what's really going on is I think a lot of people are just saying to themselves, did we panic? You know, and, and, and this is not in, in any way to minimize the number of people who, who were sick and the number of people who passed. But the question is, did we overreact? Did we shut down too much of the economy? Now, there is, you know, there are going to be sectors that are going to take longer to take off, like, you know, the airline industry. Uh, I tell you honestly, I, I'm happy uh, I'm not in the in the in the, that sector of the industry. Uh, then the other thing is, uh, uh, oh, you see, delivering stuff. I work all the time here. <laughs> uh, but then the, you know, then there's other sectors that I think will do better. I think you know we may, depending on how uh, on how the Canadian government behaves or reacts, I think we can actually get back some production business. In Canada, I, I think people are willing to pay a few more dollars to buy Canadian. And, and I think that, you know, we, we have to seriously consider our dependency on China's production, on India's production and saying, you know what, should we be producing certain things locally? Uh, and I think that that's going to that's going to create a boom uh, uh, per se. But, you know, I don't I don't I have no issue. I, I think the thing that will take off instantly is consumer confidence when it comes to recreational. I think uh, a lot of people are very pessimistic in, about the restaurant business. I'm going to tell you, I think they're totally off. I think, you know, uh, a lot of people don't understand human nature. And I think many times we sit down, we do the math and, you know, we look at statistics and we don't realize human nature. You cannot confine 
a population for two months, three months, and expect them to come out afraid to come out of their house. That's not true. I mean, you know, I think the best example I can give you is when Quebec reopened their schools, uh, everybody was expecting 10, 15% of kids to show up. And instead it's 60 to 75% that showed up, right? Which means that there's a disconnect. As time goes by, there's a disconnect between what the public health authorities are saying, what's what people are perceiving to be the reality and how they're going to react. So I think the markets will come back. Uh, I, and I'm talking in this case about the retail market, the brick and mortar market. I think, in fact, we may be getting the first negative, unknown, but negative impact on online shopping. I think I think people are just about enough of online shopping. I think people will want an experience. Uh, 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 and that's uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, okay. So Guys, I'm here live with uh, CEO of Cinemas Guzzo, Vincenzo Guzzo, uh, on the Tatro Show. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com. Thanks for joining us today. Mr. Sunshine, as they call you. Uh, tell me about the story behind the nickname. Uh, it's, see, I, I don't know if you noticed. I don't have any. Oh, I see it's on my jacket. So I'm going to show you here. We're going to do some. Okay. So I've been wearing a flower like this since I was in my college day, no, my CJEP day. So that would be, uh, on you know, the rest of Canada's grade 12, grade 13. Um, and just because I thought it was nice and so forth and so forth. And then eventually it started, you know, catching on. People say, what is that? Is that a sun? I go, no, it's a flower. What, what is it that you're not seeing? It doesn't look like a sun. And so, and then ultimately somebody said, one of my lawyers once said, uh, you know, we went into a meeting and, and the guy said, you know, your, your guy looks like a really nice guy. I mean, your client looks looks like a sympathetic guy. He doesn't look at all like the reputation he had. And and so my lawyer said, what do you mean? Says, well, you know, he's got a bit of a, you know, tough side to him or whatever, you know, like he's a cutthroat kind of guy. And so that's where my lawyer said, yeah, this is Mr. Sunshine, you know, and you know what happens with the sun, right? Is it's all warm and cuddly until you get too close to it and then you get a sunburn and then that's painful. And so it stuck with me that I'm like the sun. I can be so warm, cuddly, and you need me right, to make you feel great. But if you get too close and if you try in any way something funny, you may get burnt. I'll give you a sunburn and that's going to remind you not to get too close.